All right, first time in on shape. Congratulations. We're going to get into it on our first screen. Yours is going to be blank, but I got a bunch of stuff. So I've got some folders and I'll look inside of that and then I can see different things, projects that we've done. And here's the one that I'm going to be working on today. The um, first thing you want to do is create something. So we could create some folders. You've already seen I click through a couple. Uh, I can, I've got to navigate through those up here as well. And then I can create a new document when you do so. You just would create, put a name to it and give it a good name so you can remember what we're working on. And I'm not going to do that because I'm going to take a look at this one. So we're looking at this part. We'll be creating this later on. And at the top, we'll take a look. We've got our tools, right? So our sketch tools there and then our extrude. Those are the two we're going to use in the next tutorial. I also use my S key. And I can uh, see a lot of the common tools that I use are right there. Then uh, over here on the left, I've got my browser or my feature history also. Um, and I've got a rollback bar. So let's take a look at how I made this. So the first thing I did was made a sketch and then I extruded it and then I sketched again and I extruded again and I sketched and extruded again. So that's how I made that object right there. And we can go back and we can edit those things later on too. If I didn't like the size of this, like I wanted to make it bigger, I could adjust there. I could pull this out. Um, I did a smudge point on there. That's why it went both ways. And we could go back and edit the sketch if I wanted to see, change the size of it there. So um, as you do things, you want to make edits, you can still go back and get to them. And you can see as I hover over them, I can identify what is what. Uh, the, the sketches also have a little uh, eyeball on them so that I can turn them on and off if I want to see them or not. Next down here, we've got our parts list. And then as we get more complicated stuff, we'll be diving into that a little bit more. And then at the bottom, we've got our parts studio. And then we've got our assembly. So on our assembly, we'll be doing that later on after we've made one part and then we can bring it in four times. Over here on the right, uh, we've got some other panels. Let's just show you that there if you wanted to just give it a different color and we could go from there. So we'll just leave it blue. And then next up is the view cube over here in the top right. And so you can click around on it. I ask people to click on those corners quite a bit when I'm getting helping out. And so uh, we can jump to different parts of it, right? I typically, when I'm resetting and figuring out and talking about things, I get the top, front, and right side showing is the, a good standard. Uh, we also got our work planes in the middle. So we got our top work plane. You can see it got highlighted over there. Uh, sometimes they get in the way. You can turn them off. And then uh, we've also got our front, top, and right work planes. The uh, navigation, how am I moving around on here? Uh, it's not popping up on, on this thing right here, but I, if I mouse scroll, I use the wheel, then I can zoom in and out. If I hold my middle mouse button, you can see that one popping up down there, then I can pan. And then to rotate, I can use my right mouse button. All right, that's our introduction to on shape what all of these things on the edges are, and how to navigate. Good luck with it.